Christine, that security video coming from the popular student bar behind me here on MLK and Menlo. And while the judge declared the student innocent, he is not out of the clear just yet. He says he now has to prove himself to a USC ethics committee that will ultimately decide whether or not he can stay here for the fall semester. Well, I was very surprised that these charges would be brought against me because I hadn't done anything wrong. USC student Armand Premji charged with rape after a night out at an off-campus bar. But he says security video from the night of April 1st taken from Banditos shows he's innocent. When I saw the videos, I was very relieved uh, that there was proof to substantiate uh, my side of the story. The video shows Premji and a female student kissing in the bar's back corner, her arms around his neck. Premji said she kept pulling him closer, and after several minutes, she led him by the hand out of the bar. On the sidewalk, Premji said the girl introduced him to her roommate, where she made sexual gestures behind his back. She made a gesture to her friend uh, of her plans to have intercourse with me that night. Premji says they had both been drinking. The two are seen leaving in an Uber before arriving to the girl's dorm room. Security video there shows the alleged victim stopping to sign him in. After I had sex with her, I left, and the next day the LAPD was at my doorstep asking me about, you know, what, what happened. Premji says the alleged victim never reported the incident to police, but he was charged with rape after he says her roommates gave officers his name. Premji said the girl was the aggressor, and last Saturday a judge agreed after seeing the video cleared him of all charges. Hearing the judge give a ruling... Uh, you know, it made us believe that there is justice, truth does come out ultimately, and we were fortunate to have the kind of evidence to support, uh, you know, Arman's innocence. But Premji's innocence will have to be proven once again. He says USC's Office of Equity and Diversity is conducting its own investigation. I could get suspended or expelled from, from the university, even though the judge has declared me innocent. The business major who's going into his junior year says he's staying optimistic. He wants to stay in school and finish his degree. I'm hopeful that USC will make the right decision. USC is not above the law, and so I'm hoping that USC will dismiss the case. All right. Let's grab this first. This is the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verse 5, and it reads... There be three things that my heart feareth, and for the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and false accusation. All these are worse than death. Shammai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Alayanawa, Yahawa, Hakur. Shammai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Ahalayanawa, Yahawa, Hakur. Shammai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Ahalayanawa, Yahawa occur. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahawa Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Ra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, sincere Akim. Shalom to you, sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. And it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Rathazah. This lesson will be edifying. And uh, I wanted to play this article here. This is kind of an old article <clears throat> a few years back. But as you see in this article here, you know, this guy was, you know, accused, you know, of of, uh, of great, man. You see that? And, uh, you know, come find out, 
you know, he was he was innocent, man. You see? Because they had footage and things like that. And I wanted to do this lesson here for you brothers and even you few sisters, because if you have not been accused of things, you know, um, just know that some brothers and even few of you sisters will get accused of all kind of stuff, man. Why? For simply believing in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you see? So, you know, again, you know, I'm not going to, you know, uh, go all into this again, you know, but, uh, you know, I, you know, this guy here, he appears to be, you know, a heathen. Now, he could be an Israelite, you know, but that's not the point, man. The point is, you Israelites out there, don't be surprised when your face is plastered up, man, on the news or on social media. You know, now me, I don't have any social media, but what I'm saying is, don't be surprised, man, because in the days to come, you're going to have Esau and even some of your friends and your family, man, that's going to accuse you, right, of, uh, of you know, being in a, in a cult. And, you know, Jake don't know what words mean. You see that cult just means worship, you know. So anyway, you know, just get ready for this, brothers. And when you go into the story of uh, the history of Susanna, which is in the Apocrypha, you know, you see what happened, man. You see that now Susanna means Lily, you know, and when you go into the book of uh, Second Ezra, right, uh, Second Ezra, I want to say I, I forget the exact chapter, but. Um, you know, the Lord, he chose one lily, man. You see that? And in that story of his, or in the story of history of Susanna, you know, you had individuals that was coming against wicked bug outs that was coming against Susanna, man. You see that? After the bug outs was trying to run a train on her, you know, and, you know, they was trying to have her stoned, pretty much killed, man. I'm not going to say stoned. You see? So they come find out, right? What happened? You know, the two guys, you know, uh, I want to say Daniel at the time, you know, exposed the guys for being liars, man. And guess what? They were put to death. You see? So the Lord doesn't like individuals that come against the man of the Lord, man. You see that? So the main thing in this lesson here, brothers and sisters, is be ready, man. And if you don't know what it feels like to be lied on, you know, or falsely accused of something, it does not feel good, man. It does not feel good. You know, you could be thrown in jail, you know, or, you know, put to death over a lie, man. You see that? But if you call and worship on the names of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and trust in Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, all right, you're going to be okay, man. And you see that? So, you know, this is a quick lesson for you brothers and you sisters out there, man. You know, you're going to have people that's get ready to come against you. And believe you me, it does not feel good, but it's okay because the Lord is going to expose everything, man. You see that? So let's go ahead and grab some scriptures, you know, and uh, Yahweh Rathazada's lesson will be edifying to someone, man. All right, let's go ahead and read this again. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 5, and it reads, There be three things that my heart feareth, and the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, you see that? And hey, man. You know, when you think about the Israelites, you know, because we're a city or uh, uh, we're a people before a place. Right. So you have people out there that's going to come against the Israelites, man. They're going to slander us. You see that happening now. Right. The gathering together of, of unruly multitude and a false accusation. You see that? So you're going to have people that's going to accuse you of false things, man. And believe you me, I know what it feel like. You see that? You know, let's keep going. And all these, right, are worse than death. You see that? So, you know, you pretty much get it, man. You know, to be falsely accused, you know, it's, 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 it's something that's getting ready to happen in a big way, man. You see that? Again, you might have your mom, right, bug out, man. Feds come knock on the door. You know, and, and ask her all kind of questions and she might sell out on you, man. Or your friends or whoever. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever the case is, man. Okay. Anyway, let's read this here. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 1. It reads, my son, 
if thou come to serve the Lord, right? Prepare thy soul for what? Temptation. You see that? So when you come to serve the Lord, no one said this was going to be easy. You see? You got Jake out there. They don't understand what they're involved in. They think that this is a, 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 a I don't know, a social group. Uh, what do you call it? A, a, another Black Panther movement, man. Right? And this thing is spiritual. That's why you see a lot of Jake out there. You know, they know they're Hebrew Israelites, but they're bugged out. Anyway, Sirach chapter 2, verse 2, and it reads, set thy heart aright and constantly, what? Endure. You see that? So you got to have, pray for endurance, man. You see that? That's something that I pray for all the time is to be able to endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. You see that? So don't fall out, you know, when things get hard, man. All right? And it reads, cleave unto him. You see that? So I like to bring this analogy out or this example out. When you think about a baby, right, and they sucking on their mom's titty, right, that baby is doing what it's cleaving to that thing. So you're supposed to cleave unto the Lord, man, like how a child is cleaving to his mom's breast. You see that? It reads, cleave unto him and depart not away. You see that? That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You see that? I ain't got to break this down. And it reads, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You see that? So when you're getting falsely accused or you find yourself getting falsely accused or whatever, they can slander, right? Take it cheerfully, man. Especially if you know you innocent. You see that? Just like that guy there, you know, they had the footage, right? And he was relieved, you see? Anyway, and it reads, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. You see that? So when you feeling bad because you get falsely accused, just, just endure, man. You see that? Pray to the Lord, man. Right? Send your prayers up. Let's keep going here because I don't want to keep it long. Sirach chapter 2 verse 5, and it reads, for gold is tried in a fire. You see that? An acceptable men in a furnace of adversity. You see that? So when you're going through something, when you think about gold, right, it, it, it goes through a lot when it's being melted, man. You see that? But when it comes out on the other side, it's really, it, it looks really, really nice. You see that? And they, man, scriptures say that uh, I shall make a man more precious than fine gold. You see? So you brothers out there, you know, just get ready. All right, for some of you brothers, just get ready for this to happen to you, man. Get ready to be lied on and falsely accused of something that you had nothing to do with, man. All right, and you got black Hebrew Israelites out there standing out there with sticks, right? They're going to try to group us all together, man, all right? And they're going to say, you know, we the one know. You see that? The Lord knows who's doing that stuff, man. You see? And you're going to be okay. Anyway, Sirach chapter, five, Sirach, Sirach chapter 2, verse 5, for gold is tried in fire and acceptable men in a furnace of adversity. You see that? So when you come out on the other side because you have endurance, right, you are going to be okay. You're going to be acceptable, man. You see that? Most Jake bug out and fall out the truth when they get, uh, uh, you know, go through a little adversity, man. They, but we can't be that way. Sirach chapter 2, verse 6, believe in him. And he will what? He will help thee. You see that? So the Lord is going to help you, man. All right? This is the faith that you got to have. You know? And I'm going to say it again. It does not feel good being lied on. You see? But hey, man, I just had an example of that not too long ago. You know, God was lying on me for years. You know? Making himself seem like, you know, or make, trying to make me seem like I was wicked, man. Right? And then guess what happened to him? He was destroyed, man. Right. Anyway, it says, believe in him and he will what he will help thee order thy way. All right. And trust in him and who in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Or should I say Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? You see that? So, you know, I just want to do this lesson here real quick. Just something real quick for you, brothers. A reminder, man. Right. Some brothers are ready to be lied on, falsely accused or something. But if you. Doing the right thing and you trusting the Lord and you cleaving unto the Lord, you're going to be all right. You see that? The Lord is not going to put nothing on you that you can't bear, man. All right? So again, you know, some brothers, they face might get plastered up on, on damn CNN somewhere. You see that? Or just on social media. 
you know, and, and, and they, it's going to be a bunch of lies, man. You see that? But, you know, the individual, especially these Edomites, you know, and also two third of our people that do that, the Lord got a very special judgment for them. You see? Let's go ahead and grab this here. And I'm going to end this lesson. And like I say, you know, Yahweh wrote this out. This lesson was, you know, was edifying and also informative, man. Right. And also uplifting. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 9. It reads, a false witness shall not be unpunished. You see that? So the guys and, and these people that come against you falsely, they're not going to be un they're not going to be unpunished, man. They are going to suffer. You see? So you don't have to do anything but pray. And it reads, and he that speak of lies shall what? Shall perish. You see that? Let's, let's go ahead and look up the word perish real quick. You know, and after that, I'm going to go ahead and end it, man. You know, I want to grab this word perish. And we should know what it means, but, you know, got to look up word. Perish. Perish. It means suffer death. You see that? Typically in a violent, sudden, or untimely way. You see that? So these individuals... <laughs> You know, that come against you, man, they're going to suffer. You see that? You don't have to do anything but to just sit back and chill, man. All right? So, you know, again, you know, be prepared for this, brothers. And again, it does not feel, it does not feel good. You see that? But, you know, if you trust in the Lord, he got you, man. You see? So, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, until the next time I say... Shalom.